if y'all want to join me on a little drive up the J and L. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Isn't this just a majestic view? I love this. There. Oh, Lord. Can y'all hear? I know it's very windy today. Look at this pasture over here. All right, so this is the time where I always get nervous because I don't see the cows. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't be nervous, but I always feel nervous when I get to here and I don't see them. Okay, whew. All right, don't worry, friends. I see cows. I see cows. They're here. They haven't all left me overnight. Oh, boy. It is a beautiful day, friends. Just a gorgeous day. All right, let's pull over here. We're going to park it and have a little look about. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, I am coming to you live. So this is a live video, meaning that if you do have a little blurry, blurry, or audio is not perfect, maybe a little bit of a lag where it's the, the phone is buffering, just know that's a part of a live video. That's a part of making live videos. I hear donkeys braying off in the distance. All right, let's walk over and get the side by side and drive down. I don't want to walk. It's very muddy. We had a lot of rain last night, three inches, three inches of rain. Now it may not seem like much to you all, but three inches of rain uh, in the course of a couple of hours was pretty was pretty rough everything looks to be great over here i always like to do a head count i know that sounds kind of dumb because like i said what's gonna where are they gonna go where are they gonna go i'm gonna also try to avoid the metal building here one two three so i count three off in the distance over there let me try to zoom in for you all. There's three. Then four, five, six, and seven. And then eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, we should have 18. Dang it, we should have 18. All right, this is why we do head counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, why do I only count 17 cows? All right, so I see Tex, I see Waylon, I see, oh, okay, I see little Gary. Okay, let's just drive over. Let's just drive over. It'd be a lot easier to drive over and see where everyone's at. Let's get our side by side, shall we? Let's get the side by side. Yeah, this grass my friends, is phenomenal. I did not realize what a blessing it was going to be to have all of this. I mean, believe it or not, there's more grass here than what the cows are able to eat. Can you believe that? I mean, look at it. There's more grass here than what our cows are able to eat. And what a blessing is that, huh? I'm looking for Sadie. Now, what Sadie does, 
and it's the cutest thing is she'll go across and she likes to hang out with these animals over here as well she doesn't really understand sometimes which are her animals and which are other people's animals she wants to take care of all of them y'all give me a moment here please All right, here we go. Good morning. Friends, we are looking for a total of 18 cows. Help me count and help me find 18, okay? We'll start over here. All right, there comes Sadie. All right, so let's all start counting cows. I want to try to do it in an organized manner. Hi, sweetie. All right, let's stay organized. We'll start right here with our wrecking ball. Let me go ahead and turn this off. All right, so right here with our wrecking ball. Hi, wrecking ball, sweetie, baby. You, you look like you're quite the grouch today. You look like you are quite the grouch. Have y'all ever seen anybody so grouchy? Oh, boy, here come some more grouches. Hi, Sadie. Sweetie, I'll love you in a moment. Don't get close to the wrecking ball, sweetie. Do not get too close to the wrecking ball. Sadie, look out for the wrecking ball, Sadie. Hey, Ruby. Here, come on. Come on back over here. Look out for that horn. Don't stick me with that horn. You want loving or not? She doesn't want anyone else to have any loving. Hurry, Sadie, jump on, baby. Just jump on with me. Sadie, just jump on here. Sadie, hurry. Sadie, jump on here. Sadie, jump on here, Sadie. <laughs> Sadie, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I can't love everybody at the same time. Oh, baby, why did you do that to Sadie? She was trying to get some loving from Daddy. She only wanted loving from daddy, and you had to run her off of here. Okay, can we do a head count, please, y'all? Can we just do a head count? We, okay, so, here, oh, hi, sweetie, hello. I am gonna do a head count in just a moment. We need to show all the babies some loving first. Hi, mama. Oh, what a sweet girl you are. You are the most amazing girl of all time. Look out! Oh, why do you do stuff like that? Ruby, be sweet over there to Sadie. Okay. Okay, guys, we're about to do us a head count. <laughs> and I got some, there's, here's one head. Here's one head right here. Here's one head of cow. Here's two heads right here, all right? These are two heads. We got two head of cow right here beside us, okay. Now, let's go ahead and have a peek around. There's, uh, looking at me right there is Pearl, that's three. Behind her is Tex, four, then Waylon's five. Gracie is six, that's Gracie right there. They were pretty speckled cow six then with her backside to me is Marilyn at seven and then we got a twofer right there in Santana uh-uh 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 leave her alone sorry Sadie all right I had we had a twofer in Santana and uh Jenny Lane okay they're all starting to mix mix them jumble themselves together again uh I've lost count Anyway, here's Danny. Behind her, the little black and white calf, Trinity. Her mom over there, Jezebel, laying down, little Gary. Between me and little Gary is Dolly. I see Reba. Reba is over here in the in the creek along with her calf. Um her calf is um oh Lord. Loretta? So the one that I can't find is that little white calf with the RBF, the one we call Patsy. Oh, there's Charlene. Okay, so here's Patsy over here. Okay, they're all here. 
over here, this is Charlene. Right? That's Charlene. Y'all be sweet to her. That's Charlene. Here's Patsy over here. And then there's Loretta. Okay, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Okay, we're all here. Thank you. Guys, don't worry. We're all here. Uh-uh. No, 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 ma'am. You stop all that mean stuff. You got to stop that mean stuff. I'm pinned between a rock and a hard place. Can y'all believe that Tex, yeah, our, our Longhorn Bull, Tex, respects my space more than she does? Why is that? Why is that? Why does Tex respect my boundaries and my personal space more than this one over here does, huh? What's wrong with that? I, oh, my goodness. This is funny. Jackie says, you need a hand counter. <laughs> yeah, I do. The little punch counters. Click, 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 click. As I count them, mark them off. Look out there, sweetie. Sheesh. Move. Okay, that's dangerous. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, if you all saw that. Ouch. <sighs> Poor Sadie. The things that happen in the pursuit of following your passions. The beat down that we sometimes take in the pursuit of trying to follow our passions. Is that not the life of a livestock guardian dog? Seriously, answer that question, y'all. Do you know any other animal with such passions? You've watched a number of channels... And it's just crazy to me the number of farms that have amazing, just these livestock guardian dogs are just amazing in what they do. I watched a video recently. I don't know what farm it was at, but their livestock guardian dog had babies. And so they were watching and they were taking note of how interesting it is watching the moms and the dads of these guardian dogs teach their babies how to be guardian dogs. Uh, and one of the number one rules was they had to teach their teach. It was a process of teaching the baby. Oh, you're going to poke her in the eye, Ruby. Danny, I'm sorry, sweetie. Oh, my goodness gracious. Hi, love. Ruby, don't be mean to her. Hi, sweetie. Oh, sweet girl. I was watching the adult guardian dogs. All of them great Pyrenees were teaching the, the babies from a very young age, how to herd, how to guard, how to alert. And I'm thinking, this is just a really neat breed of dog. So, and how blessed are we? Baby, I'm worried about her eye. Look, I just worry about her eye getting poked, and then we're having an eye issue. We don't need eye issues here. We do not need eye issues. Uh, anywho, we don't want issues at all. We don't want issues, y'all. All right, well, let's go to the comments. I've rambled on long enough. Here's my glasses. This is the pair of glasses that I keep with me on my side-by-side -side so I can do questions. Danny has such little horns. Yes, she does. Aren't they so cute, though? I don't worry about her horns as much. Oh, Sadie's fine. If you're worried about Sadie, Sadie's fine, y'all. Listen, everyone who just saw what happened saw she took a toss. They toss. What they do with their horns is they pick... They pick them up and toss them. They just toss them. So they weren't going for the gals. They weren't trying to drive her into the ground. They just toss. And I don't know why they do that, but Sadie is okay. Oh, people are asking about Sadie. Danny. Danny's right here. Whoever's asking about Danny. Okay, y'all are going too fast in the comments. Slow down a little bit. So everybody slow down. You're going too fast. Okay, Sadie's over here. She's fine. Ruby and Danny are fine. Dang, I missed the live. Wait. Janice says, I missed the live. Janice, it's still live. How is the dam at Longhorn Lester's? The spillway survived the rain. Do you have your brush? No, I did not bring the brush with me, darn it. I need to get a brush just for this side-by-side -side and brush. Um, oh, my goodness gracious. You are something else, sweetie. <laughs> A uh, bag report, please, says Janice. Janice wants a bag report. So listen, Janice, I feel like a lesser. I don't feel like I'm responsible because I don't know who is the next in line. Because during that time that they were all over with Waylon at the sanctuary during the beginning of the summer, during the first part of the drought, there were 
there were several girls over there. Now, don't forget, we had Gracie and Pearl who both gave birth over there, which means they would have come back into heat with Waylon. We also had Jolene, who I think, this is Lester just saying he thinks, we think Jolene is the next, and Jolene is right over here. And I think Jolene, because she does appear to be round around, uh, she kind of appears to be round in the belly. And she does have her teats beginning to expand. So I do hope it's Jolene. And that will be Waylon's calf. And that will be the first calf we see from Waylon. So that's interesting. So, yeah. Uh, oh, my goodness gracious. People can't get enough of your little smile. I can't get enough of it either. And I love you so much. I wish I would have brought my brush, friends. I got to remember stuff like that. I have to remember stuff like that. Okay, so I'll tell you real fast. Let's go ahead and drive up. I want to show you my hay field and tell you what, what Mr. Ed said, okay? And then I'll let you guys go. Y'all want to come up with me? The cow's looking great. We did not get we did not get more rain here than what we had last last week or so. So everything's fine. All the cows looking great. Everyone's happy. And we're blessed. We're so blessed. Okay, Daddy's going to get out of here now. I love y'all. You girls, look out. I'm leaving, okay? Lord. Come on, sweetie. Okay, there is good news and there is bad news as far as what we're looking at with our grass. All right, y'all ready to hear this? Okay, so Mr. Ed, who is our longtime friend, and he's also our hay man, he came out yesterday. And you guys who've been following the channel for a while, you know Mr. Ed knows his business. He does, y'all. He knows, he knows his business. And he told me a couple of things that made a lot of sense. Some, some things are good. Some things are a little bit worrisome. All right, you ready to hear this? Okay. So let's take first things first. The reason Mr. Ed came out was to look at our 10-acre hay field and let me know if it was ready to be mowed, uh, baled into hay. And the good news is, absolutely. He said... Just by looking at it, he's going to guess, and Mr. Ed is never wrong, 30 rolls. Y'all, you heard me right. You heard me right. Mr. Ed said by looking at it, he's going to say there's 30 rolls of hay out here. 30 rolls. I tell you what, I think I about got the Holy Ghost when he told me that. Because I was filled with some kind of spirit. I don't know what. Hey, y'all, what is that? That's a crop circle. That's a gosh darn crop circle right there. Please tell me y'all can see what I'm looking at here. It's a gosh darn crop circle. Something, all of the grass is pushed over in a crop circle like something you would see on the alien files if you can't see this then my camera is not doing me justice okay sadie i'm trying to show my what happened here last night what happened here last night sweetie something happened here how's there a crop circle in my pasture Y'all, do you not see the crop circle? Do you not see what I'm looking at? If it's, if it's not a crop circle, then what the heck is it? How did all the grass get pushed down? Mr. Ed didn't do that. Stop saying Mr. Ed did that. Mr. Ed did not do that. And stop saying it has to be the wind because if the wind did not push, 
it did not push that grass over. So why is this over here all flattened out into it like a, it's a, okay. So, so now we got crop circles here. So now we have crop circles appearing over the J and L. Man. Crazy, y'all. Anywho, if I can get back to my story. Before the crop circle appeared, Mr. Ed told us he guesses we can get 30 rolls of hay off this pasture. 30 rolls. That is the good news. Do you want to hear some bad news? Are you ready to hear the bad news? Mr. Ed said that this is going to make great hay. He says there's some really good grass out there that's going to make some great sweet hay. He said, but, y'all ready for this next part? He says you also got patches of weeds. You got patches here and there of weeds. And he goes, that's going to sour the taste of your hay. If you roll up too much of them weeds into your hay crop, it's going to sour the taste of the hay. And so you can very easily see that the, he's right. There are patches of just amazing grass. And then you got little spots like this over here where for some reason the weeds are so thick, it kind of choked out the good grass. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm super excited about the potential of 30 rolls off our very first cut. And y'all know that we don't feed but about 40 to 50 rolls a year. So if you can get 30 off of one cut, and we will get, and, and listen to this, it's ready to cut now in April, and we've never been able to get a cut in April. We've, our, we, have, we have had some years of May hay, May, but never April. So good news and bad news on this pasture is there's a lot of great hay but there's patches of weeds that's going to sour the hay if we're not careful. So Mr. Ed said all you can do is go ahead and bale it. Go ahead and cut it and bale it and come right behind it. I mean right behind it with heavy fertilizer. And that fertilizer hopefully will kill out this kind of mess over here and allow this kind of stuff to grow back in its place. What you want is your grass to choke out your weeds, not the other way around. All right. All right. So that was a bit of information from, from Mr. Ed. And that was some good information. Now I'm going to tell you something else. You ready to hear this over here? All right. Here we go. Mr. Ed also said, Lester, have you no? Oh, Lordy. He says, Lester, have you noticed the cows are not spending as much time on your front pasture? They spend more time in the back. And I said, absolutely. They, they do spend more time in the back. As a matter of fact, they only come up front at night. And he said, because driving around, he didn't go out in the pasture, he just drove down the driveway. He said he could see the same types of weeds growing over here as what's growing over there. And that means that the cows are not finding this grass to be as tasty because of the weed content. So here's his suggestion. Mr. Ed said, he would suggest that if I want to make sure that we don't have as many weeds, I come by with the tractor and my brush hog or my bush hog, whatever you call it. I call it brush hog, you call it bush hog, fine. He says, come by and cut it as low as I can. Put that blade right to the ground and just, and just cut it. Cut it as low as I can. And he said, the day that I come by and fertilize this after his cut, do the same thing over here. Fertilize the heck out of the entire front property. And he said, by doing that, what you want to hopefully do is have that fertilizer help your grass come on up and choke out all them weeds. And so we have our work cut out for us, friends. We have our work cut out for us. Uh, I would like to talk more about Hay and Sadie and Mr. Ed, but I'm sorry, friends. I just cannot take my mind off of what happened here overnight. Uh, I'm gonna go to my video cameras. I have a camera. I have a camera facing over here. I'll show you. 
y'all don't believe a word I say anymore. I tell you what, I made a couple of jokes. I made a couple of Halloween videos during the month of Halloween of October. And now no one believes a darn thing that I say. This is proof, y'all, that something come out of the sky must have hovered here. It must have hovered. It must have just hovered because it did not land or there would be burn marks from the propulsion engine. It hovered right here with enough force, downward force, to push that hay over flat. Oh my gosh. Poor Sadie and the thing she has to deal with. And it's no wonder, y'all, it's no wonder she finds herself off in the deep woods trying to hide from whatever's going on here in the yard. Anywho, cows are good, Sadie's good, we love you all. I wanna show you the camera because what I'll do is I'll make me a video now. I'll make a video and I'll include shots from my camera angle. Uh, the best camera that I have to capture whatever happened last night will be this one right over here. I like this camera location because it picks up the license plate of anything driving in or out of this patch of my property. Now I have a similar setup at the road, but uh, when y'all watch the video, this will be the camera here we're going to have to keep an eye on. This is the one that would have captured, I'm hoping, yes, oh my gosh, yes, look, look at the camera, look at the way it's angled. So whatever, whatever happened right over there, this camera here should have picked it up. All right, I will gather up that footage, friends. Listen, I wanna thank y'all for watching the video this morning. Thank you for joining me live. I'm gonna go give Sadie her snacks and make sure she has her food and water, do a couple of jobs. Thank y'all for watching. And if you have any ideas about the creation of that crop circle, I'd love to hear about it. We'll catch you guys in the next video.